It is back in business. Two arsonists caused big damage to El Rey Supermarket. Police arrested two teenagers two weeks ago. El Rey opened today, and our Steve Shamraz is live near 52nd in Oklahoma. Steve. Carol, most people probably take their neighborhood grocery stores for granted, not customers of El Rey who waited for the store to reopen after that devastating fire. Lydia Martinez was one of the last to leave El Rey the night before it burned. So it's only fitting she's back to work on day one of the store's new life. I thought it was going to take longer, um, but I'm so glad it didn't. If you'd never set foot in El Rey before, you'd hardly know the store looked like this only two weeks ago. Torched in an arson, police blame on two teenage boys. Now the produce is fresh and neatly stacked. The aisles of dry and canned goods, just as you would expect them. I was kind of bummed when it happened because I was coming by the next morning and I saw all the, all the fire damage. I'm like, well, they're done for a while, but that was pretty quick. Quick is relative, though, when you lose such an important part of your daily life. It seemed like a month, and it was only two weeks, and you don't realize what you have until it's gone. Now that it's back, it means people like Lydia are working again, and the store is once again able to nourish the neighborhood. But they're all happy. They're happy. Everybody's really content and happy that this is, is uh, opened up so quickly. And it will be another week or so before the restaurant is completely rebuilt. Still no word on any charges against the two 17-year-olds police say set this fire. On your side, live on Milwaukee's South Side tonight, Steve Shamraz, today's TMJ4. All right, thank you, Steve. It